Well, just arrived at Peaceful Bay. Stayed here years ago with the wife up at the caravan park. It was really nice. Everything was on grass, so yeah, it was a very pleasant caravan park. So just on the way to Denmark, I thought I'd stop off and have a look. Weather's absolutely beautiful today. After all that rain we've had, still a few clouds up there, but the forecast is for it to get hotter and hotter. Must be a cray boat out there. There's a boat ramp around the other side, so we'll go for a bit of a walk. There's a little boat out there. Lovely coloured water. Nice walkway up from the caravan park there. There's public toilets here as well. And yeah, we'll go for a walk on the beach and take a couple of photos. Uh, just looking back at the bay, just talking to a bloke, he's been catching some skippy there. Plenty of boats over there at the boat ramp. It looks like a beach ramp. And just heading up here and I see another Bibbleman track sign. So getting closer to Albany. Again, you'll be walking through here if you do the track. Oh wow, look at this. What a beautiful spot. I bet the photos and the film just doesn't do this place justice. Bet it's deadly when the wind's blowing. Somebody just out in the channel there. Hope that shows up. And back around. Well, just walk around the other side. There's uh, access to the beach there. And boat trailer parking. And looks like a nice hard surface. There's plenty of people out there in tinnies. I can see a kayak and a lot fishing straight off the beach. So there's lots to do down here if that, you're that way inclined. Well, not far out of Denmark now, only about 20 odd k's, and I've just pulled in to have a look at Elephant Rocks and Green Pool, which I've heard about but I haven't been in here, so great car park. Uh, there's nice toilet facilities here. You can't camp here, of course, but just looking out to the view, there's absolutely heaps of car parking. It's not too, too far to walk down there, so take a few photos, a bit of a video, and add it on.
Outreach, Denmark. It's getting warmer and warmer by the minute. So there's a caravan park we've stayed at a few times here on Wilson's Inlet at uh, where the river comes out. Beautiful spot. I think now it's heating up. I shall continue on down to Albany. It's not that far. I think it's about 50 k's down the road and book in down there then I can get two nights in the same place. I was going to free camp but uh, seems to be a lot more no camping signs these days than there used to be. This is Wilson's Inlet. And looking back up the river. So we'll get back in the van, see what's on the way, and head for Albany. I'm hoping to stay at uh, Rose Garden Caravan Park. Stayed there a number of times, I absolutely love it. You can walk to the estuary, and the ocean's right in front of you for a bit of fishing as well. So we shall carry on. reached Albany uh, at the caravan park at Rose Garden. I've been here a few times. My wife and I have stayed here for over a number of years. It's a great caravan park. You've got Middleton Beach which is just up the road there and you can walk to that from here and then you've got this rock wall nice and clean and shallow and then around the corner it opens out onto Oyster Harbour if you have a look back through my videos you'll find a couple of videos, one on EU Point and another one about fishing around Albany which is probably one of the most popular ones I've ever done so I'm quite pleased with that uh, looking back over there you're looking back towards Albany and up on the hill is where the Anzac monuments are well I've just uh, got up, had a bit of a sleeping, and headed out onto the water. It was a bit uh, blowy out on the estuary or the Oyster Harbour, so I've decided to come up to the Kelgan River, which is famous for its black brim. So, followed the estuary around, you come up to the Kelgan Bridge, which is that thing there. Still a little bit blowy out there, but I'll get over the other side where it's a wee bit more protected. Just as you're coming up to the bridge from Albany itself just before you get to it there's a turn off and it's a nice little boat ramps here a parking area so if you wanted to stop and have a rest or launch a kayak or whatever it's all here Well, out on the Kelgan River, it's absolutely beautiful up here. As I say, it was a bit windy down the other end. Uh, just been out and come up a bit. I was just yakking to a bloke from Northam. Same kayak, the Next Gen 10, and quite interesting. Had a good old chat. We knew a lot of the same people from York, and he beat me on fishing because he caught a couple in a black brim and I didn't, so them's the brakes but uh, if you get to watch this mate how you going and no I wasn't the ranger so I won't tell anybody <laughs> catch you later <laughs> 